What is up? We're doing some biceps today. And I actually remembered that we're going to do biceps today. Look at this new drink cup thing I got. This thing is massive. It's like one of those Stanley cups, but it's not a Stanley cup because it's big. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, it's like 64 ounces, so I'm going to be drinking water. But we're going to do some hammer curls. I'm excited. I love hammer curls. Let's get started. All right, we're starting with some 45s. This should be pretty light. I might go up if it's feeling good, but I don't want to start swinging like crazy. Possibly like tweak my back weird or something. So that would suck right before a marathon, but I think we'll be good. I'm used to some decent weight on hammer curls. Those feel good. I'm sleepy today. My bed felt so good. I woke up at four. I snoozed my alarm like four times, but sorry. Right. We'll uh, still get a good workout. And we're only doing biceps, so that should be plenty of time to hit everything pretty good. And this will be, dang. I'm about to stop working out for a little while. I don't know what I'm going to do for my other videos, but I'm not supposed to work out for the whole week before just so I can like use all of my energy that I'm eating and stuff for like my body, my legs. All right. I did another set with the 45s after um, that first set and the 45s feel pretty good. So I think I'll just stick with these. I'm not really trying to strength train super hard right now just because I'm running a marathon in like a week. That's going to be crazy. But this should be good. All right, this is our last set. And then I don't know what we're going to do next. These are feeling good. I'm liking it. Okay, Ooh, we'll call it good there. And then I think what I'm gonna do, maybe some creatures, I don't know. We'll figure it out, you'll see me doing it. I decided to do preacher curls. This should be pretty good. I used to do these all the time and I loved them so much, but then I hurt my wrist and like, now they just, they aren't the same. They're still chill. So I'm gonna do some chill picture curls. Oh. 
Oh yeah. I actually like these. These are feeling really good. So I'll do three sets of these, and then we'll hop on something else. But I really like this new split, just because I feel like I can take my time a little more, but I also feel like I'm going pretty fast. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I can get a really good pump. That's all that matters, getting a good pump. All right, let's do the next set. I just accidentally left the camera on for like five minutes. That was an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. But let's do one more set. I guess two more, but let's do one more right now. I feel like I could have gotten one more on my left, but I only got nine on my right. So I felt like I should stop. So I don't want to get, like my left arm, I swear it's like maybe 0.3 inches smaller than this arm. But this arm is weaker than this arm. I don't understand it. It's like a, I feel like everybody has that too. And I mean, yeah, I use my right arm more just for like everyday stuff, but like, I don't know why my left would be stronger if my right was bigger. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, it's weird. I'm feeling crazy. My pump is insane. I'm loving it. I just can't wait to get leaner. And then just like everything pops. So right now when I get a pump, like I can feel it when I like grab my arms, but it's still a lot of fat. I talked during my set and now I don't know how many I did. We'll go to failure on the right arm. And then the one before failure on my left. Or one before failure on my right and then two before failure on my left, I guess. Because I didn't really fail on that rip. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I got hiccups. All right. I used to do these all the time. I don't even know if I can do this with 30 pounds anymore, but these were like the number one killer of my biceps. I love these things. But you just hold them both out like this, and then you hold one up while doing the other one. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely not gonna be able to do 30s on the last sets, but I do four on one side, four on the other, then I repeat it. So I do eight both sides. Oh. There's no way I can do 30s. I'm gonna try it still, but like, oh, I'll tell you what. Holding it up like that is so, so much harder than you would think it would be. But that's nice. So I'll, I think I'm gonna switch down to 25s. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll do like three sets of these. These are pretty good. All right. I grabbed 20s instead of 25s because the 20s were in a more convenient place than the 25s were. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how these feel. If it's too light, I'll go up again. But these are really just about focusing on the squeeze 
and going slow and holding up the other one. But these are crazy. It did feel a little light, but I'm gonna just not rest as long. I'll go again. And this should be sick. I should be getting a crazy pump from you. All right. I rested less than a minute. We're going again. Just do a little burnout and then we'll call it good and go up to the pose room. Okay. Alright. I just got on the scale at the gym and that was so demotivating. I'm going so far in the wrong direction. I know the scale here is heavier, but I'm like, I was like 207 on it, which is really high. Like, I haven't seen that in a while. But it's just so hard. I don't know what to do. Because, like, I really want to cut. But cutting while trying to run so far is so terrible. Like, I feel like I don't recover it all from, like, in my knees, my hips, anything. It's like, I ran 11 miles the other day. I felt like I was going to die. Yesterday, my hip felt weird. My knees were a little funky and stuff. But today I feel so good. And I swear it's just because I'm eating enough for my body to heal. But I think I'm going to be gaining weight. And I might, I might go up pretty high again, honestly, um, until this marathon's over. But I'm going to keep on pushing on uh, working out. Hopefully I'm gaining a good amount of muscle with the extra fat I'm gaining too, but I just, it's just sad. I hate like trying to cut down and then like not being able to, it's tough, but it's all good. Well, uh, I'll be demotivated probably for another week and a half, but it's only a week and a half. The highest I'll probably weigh is 215. And from 215, I think I could get down to 190 in a month. I bet I could. Just because, like, a lot of this is probably water weight. I mean, there's no way I'm storing that much fat from... Oh, also, I just drank a ton of water. So, I think a gallon of water weighs 7 pounds. So, I'm pretty sure it's 7.34. Exactly. And I had, like, almost half a gallon. So, 3 pounds was from water weight. Literal, like, water weight in my stomach. The rest is probably just water weight for me drinking water and like eating a bunch of carbs. But I don't know. I'm still feeling pumped. Look at that bicep. Hey, go. Tell you what. I don't got a tricep pump, but triceps are always looking good. So, all right, let's do some posing. I feel more bulked up though. Like my core is definitely not as not as lean. Or we'll do a core check. But I'm definitely nowhere near as lean as I was before. 
It's all right, though. We'll, uh, we'll get it back. And I'm not in any hurry. I'd rather protect my knees and stuff and then <clears throat> wait a little bit longer to get lean than end up destroying my knees and not recovering in time for the run and then having to go through that much pain <laughs> during the run. Uh, I could like, if I don't recover before the run, I might really hurt myself during the run. That would not be good. But I'm gonna run five miles today, so I should be good. I'll probably eat just chicken and rice. I'm gonna try to eat chicken and rice, but I'm gonna eat at like a, a minimal surplus. And we'll see how that works, because I might be able to lose weight while eating healthy, or lose weight while eating in a surplus if I'm eating healthy, that's what I meant to say. But I don't know, it's always been weird. I've always struggled with losing weight, but I think it's because of how much bread I eat. I just eat a lot of pasta and pizza. I love pizza. Pizza's my favorite. But I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna keep on going. Wrist was feeling good, but I had to move some couches yesterday and uh I kinda aggravated it, so that's kinda tough. But I'm gonna go to work, maybe do some stretching. I don't have my watch on. I have a little bit of time to stretch, but I'm going to stretch, go to work. Tomorrow we'll be hitting, I think we'll do, we'll see how we're feeling in the morning, but I think we'll do triceps. We might do shoulders though. We'll see. I'll see you all tomorrow.